Hello vlog. I'm starting this vlog really late. It is day zero of Geek Girl Con. I am setting up, I'm sweaty. I've got the backdrop up. Here's a look at the booth situation. Um, we did get here a little bit early, so we were, we were waiting to load in and I totally forgot about vlogging. But this is Geek Girl Con weekend. It's two days this weekend. Last year was one day, so we'll see how it goes. I'll catch you guys back up once we're done setting up. Progress report. We are pretty much done. Did forget a few things. So thankfully this is a local con. Like forgot the tote bag. <laughs> Literally the entire thing. So thankfully local, we can bring it tomorrow. I do have the new Emmy the Corgi photo card gotcha, which I'm super excited. We'll see how it goes tomorrow. Um, and we do have clearance of our Corgi crossbodies. These ones are slightly defective, so like, this one is totally wrong color, first of all. Um, but some of the threading on the eyes coming out, and some of these have like the threading on the hands are not like really good, so they're $25. Do you have mystery sticker bags? We do have the rest of our sticker books. We have croc charms, our Boba Corgi plushies, and coin purses. And then I did bring out our greeting cards and postcards, which only make an appearance for certain occasions. So this is an occasion for it and it is here. We do have our three outerwear. Um, decided not to bring Fueled by Boba because there's very, 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 very little left. Um, and I'm saving that for next weekend's event. So, but this is pretty much how it looks. It is a 10 by 10 space. We did bring the 10 foot backdrop, which was a bit of a struggle um, because it fits like perfectly. So definitely should have brought the eight foot one instead, but is what it is, it made it work. And it's looking pretty snazzy. So we're gonna go get our badges now and then head home. I'm going to restock some of our stickers like the Telecorgi out of this one or well, there's one left. And some of the ones down here only have one left. So I'm gonna restock these stickers tonight. And we also need to restock magnets. We're out of banana, corgi. I don't even know if I have those left. I'm gonna see if I can bring any more. And then we'll be good for day one. See you tomorrow. Time to go. Good morning from day one of Geek Girl Con. Um, it's like nine something. Kind of a little bit rushed because we had some stuff to put together. But booth is looking pretty snazzy. I'm gonna go around and grab some stuff um, for sticker uh, stamp rally. So we're doing a stamp rally with a couple of other people. Um, I've been doing them at almost every event. It really depends on who's there. I'm gonna go grab some stuff. But on this side is the vendors and then artist alleys on the side. Sorry, what booth number are you guys? Um, 432. Oh, 432. oh, are you in the stamp rally? I'm Lindsay. I'm from Single Spook. Thank you so much. For yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. Meant to come by sooner, but it's all I good. Got stuck in the elevator, like, yeah. <laughs> it's all good. I figured you're still busy, so I was like, oh, I have time, so I'm just gonna go grab it. I appreciate you. Let me separate because I want to make sure that there was like a one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. <laughs> it's not good. That was us yesterday. We're like 11, we're counting like 13. We're like, okay, let me try this again. <laughs> 11. Perfect. Thank, thank you so much you. again. I appreciate you. Yeah, thank you. Got our goodies. Oh, wow. I got it. Oh, I got it. I got it. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Eileen. <laughs> Okay, so we got our goodies for the stamp rally. <laughs> okay, back at the booth. We need to stuff these bags before people start coming. Eh, a mess. All right. Mom, mom's organizing. This is a back of the booth tour. Mom's keeping it nice and tidy, per usual. I'm a mess. As per usual. So, 
We also have our gachapon here today. Super excited. Okay, I'm gonna stuff bags and then we'll be right back. So we have quite a lot of freebies for this show. First is this one, the I tap the butt for anybody who plays with card because I do have a booty on my card reader. And then for the stamp rally, we have these goodie bags that I mentioned earlier that we were stuffing. And then I also am giving out free stickers um, like these ones and these ones for people who take photos in my new photo op area thingy. Oh, yeah. So I have this photo stand that was inspired by his inspired designs and she also gave out free stickers if you take a photo. Yay! Okay, because I'm giving out free stickers with a photo on our new photo op thingy, which I have hanging over there. I decided to put it on the back of my name card. Um, and so yeah, so now I can show it to them and they can tell me which one they want. So it is officially 10.01, which means the convention has been officially open for at least a minute. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a slow trickle, I think just based on how it was last year. So last year was only one day, this year is two days, and I believe pre-COVID it was three days at one point. So slow ramp up, and um, there's a lot to see in the, at this event, and the exhibit hall is at the very, very top. So you'd have to go up three flights of escalators and then walk across to another flight of escalators, which is like off to the other side in order to get up here. So a little bit confusing for folks, so hopefully there's enough signage and staff downstairs to be telling people how to get up here. Um, but other than that, got a lot of um, restocks and some new products. We have some new hats designs that I literally just got like two days ago. Um, we did get restock on keychains and a new keychain design. And again, I mentioned that I have my greeting cards and postcards, which I don't usually sell. Um, but I do bring it out when it gets closer to the holidays because I have a lot of Christmas cards. So that's all here. Plus I have the new Emmy the Corgi photo card gotcha, which I'm super excited about. Um, and then the usual affair, stickers, magnets, um, and stuff. So we'll see how it goes. Um, fingers crossed because they like tripled the amount of vendors this year from last year. So it's a little bit weary when the convention does that. Um, but hopefully it turns out well. We'll check back in in a few hours to see how it goes. Hello. It is currently 12.09, two hour check-in since opening. Um, it's been very, very, very slow. And uh, yeah, that's that's all I have to say. I did hear from somebody that registration was having a difficult time with um, getting people in. And so the check-in line downstairs is very, very slow. So that's why up here is pretty dead. Um, there are people, it's just like very sparse and yeah. Mom, perusing on her phone. But you can see that there's not really anybody here. I did make a handful of sales here and there. Um, one thing that I do regret is that I wish they had told us that they were going to do rib badge ribbons because I would have done a badge ribbon for our booth. But yeah, so things to note for next year if I do this event again, um, which I probably will because I'm local. Hello everybody, progress report, it is 4.19. Um, this is what it currently looks like, so a little bit empty, um, I don't really have much to say because it's been just a very odd con, um, so yeah. So I get asked this a lot because I do a self-serve display thing, even with the stickers. And literally everything on the table is self-serve. Um, the only thing that's not self-serve are things like bags and apparel. And that's just because there's like literally no room for those things and hats. So I keep all of that back here in this thing, in this thing under the table. But everything else is self-serve. I know a lot of people are weary about doing self-serve because they're worried about theft. Here's a secret about self-serve models. You can't avoid theft. So theft is gonna happen no matter what. And the only thing you can do is watch it and try to mitigate theft. 
So I like to pay close attention to my customers. Like greeting customers when they come in or if you have a helper. Having your helper really watch certain items because if you're like me and you have a lot of items, it's hard to watch everything. Also having a display where nothing is obstructed helps a lot. Um, so from where I am sitting or standing, I can see my entire display at all times, even though it's all self-serve. It's 20 minutes until the closing of day one. Um, so far we've made adjusted sales goal, um, which not bad, not great, just okay, which seems to be the trend for a lot of the conventions. I want to say like after July, so yeah, pretty thing, pretty much everything in August and September has just been okay. Mom's cleaning up now. We're going to be packing up. Overall though, we did move through a lot of the clearance bags and these are my crossbody bags that just have minor defects. So functionally, they're all pretty great. They still work perfectly fine. It's just some of them have like threading coming out in the eye or um, like black marks and stuff. So functionally, they still work great, just little minor defects. So these are on clearance for $25. We're going to bring more. We don't have any regular priced ones, so we only have the clearance ones. And then coin purses have surprisingly been going very good. So we're gonna bring a little bit more coin purses. Did get some looks at the greeting cards, which is great because I haven't, again, sold greeting cards in a while. Um, other than that, air fresheners are moving very slowly. This is the last lavender, so I'm hoping to retire this smell. I will bring this design back in a different scent. I don't know which one yet, but this scent is gonna be going. This is also my last cookie milk. So I'm hoping that this goes because I ordered more vanilla, so. That's the hopes. And we are out of our bestseller, which is Soju, I'm waiting for a restock to come. Hats have been okay. Um, these two are new, so yeah, it's been pretty okay. Five minutes to go. Man, I look great. Five minutes, then we're gonna clean it up. Mom's already packed everything and um, this is down our hall or our lane so it's pretty empty compared overall um, see there's nobody here and it goes this way and the hall does go that way and that way and it's pretty big all of the artist alley tables are on that side so there's another like row of exhibitors where you hit the artist alley light restocking but that's pretty much it for day one so Stay tuned for tomorrow and day two. Bye guys! So Geek Girl Con is held at the Seattle Convention Center, more specifically the Arch Building, and even more specifically the one at 800 Pike if you're looking it up on a GPS. It is the smaller of the two Arch Buildings. It is the one on the left hand side going up towards Capitol Hill in Seattle. And this building can be very confusing because it does have two sets of escalators. One set brings you through floors one through three, and the last set brings you up to the fourth floor, which is where the exhibit hall was. Now I don't know if this played a role in the lack of attendees up on the fourth floor, but just something to keep in mind. Good morning from day two at the con. I'm here at the booth. A um, little restocking to do, is, of course. But I do have a story time about how we got in. So um, we parked in, ooh, in the garage that is connected to the Seattle Convention Center Arch Building, the main building, if you're familiar with the Seattle Convention Center. Um, and that is not the building that we're using for this convention. We are using the Arch at 800 Pike, um, which is the building across the street, the smaller one. So there's no um, direct connection from that parking garage to this building. Uh, and usually you just go through the main convention center to the street level um, and across the street or just walk around through the garage. Um, but as we were taking out our empty suitcase from our trunk, um, there are some other people who were also parking there who are also vendors. Um, and one of the Seattle Community Center staff actually had them go through the freight elevator, which is not supposed to be open until later tonight. So that's how we got in. Um, and then, yeah, we kind of like stood outside because we didn't have anybody guiding us and the doors were all closed and we didn't know what to do. We stood there for a while. 
and realize this door was just unlocked the whole time. So, be sure to check doors if you're ever confused. So, forecast for today. Um, I don't know. I'm hoping it goes good. I really wanted to show you guys uh, where to go for unloading and loading. So, hopefully later tonight while we're unloading and we go back to the car, I can show you guys sort of what it looks like to get from the convention hall to that area because I know there's a lot of first time people doing Geek Girl Con this year. This is my second time. Um, unfortunately, it's the same load in and load out situation as last year. So for load out, there's two options. You can either go back to the hand carried freight or you can use the main loading dock for load out. Um, last year, I drove my car up to the main loading dock, which is basically right next to the convention center, like to the hall that you're in for exhibitors. Um, which makes it really easy because you don't have to really walk. You just push your stuff right out and your car is right there. I will say it's very, not very difficult. It's a little difficult to find the place because you do have to take the one road, Seneca Street, and then take 9th in order to get to the driveway that leads up to this main loading dock. So it can be confusing if you don't know where you're going, especially if you're driving at night because the convention does end at 6 o'clock. Um, but that is an option. The second option is you can go back through the hand-carried freight, which is the same way as loading in through your hand-carried freight. You would park at the convention center garage off of 8th Avenue, and then um, there are signs in the garage that say hand-carried freight, and you would just park in row G, and then you can wheel your stuff through the big double doors up the hand-carried freight elevator and around the corner, then cross the bridge, and you'll reach this building, which is the second building. So that's probably the way we're going to go going back to the car since we did park in the G-Row to um, hopefully be able to carry everything out. It only took us one trip to get everything in, so it should take us one trip to get everything out should everything go well. Um, we brought the suitcase back and we have the hand truck here. So I did change hand trucks before I used to exclusively use a wagon. Um, but I feel like getting this nifty hand truck has been very helpful. Morning! Especially if you have large things like me. So I do have the grid walls um, and using the hand truck makes it really really easy because I can load up the crate and then the grid walls and just push it instead of carrying the grid walls because they don't fit in the wagon. So that's the situation for load out. Um, and yeah. I do want to give a big shout out to um, Kit or Egg Daddy for helping with our fantasy stamp rally. She made these amazing cards for us as well as signs for our booth. So a super big thank you to Kit um, for doing all of this. She also provided us bags to put our prizes in. They're Halloween themed because it is October. But yeah, we're doing a fantasy stamp rally. These are all of our friends, part of our Discord who are in this stamp rally. We do have a couple stamp rallies from our art um, Discord that are running and so this is mine. I gave everybody this cute wizard spoot sticker that I had done by my sticker manufacturer, um, Sticker Hoy on Instagram. Huge shout out to Connor and his team. They are amazing. And yeah, same with I'm super excited about this one because I think the prizes are really good uh, for this one. We do get a prize from everybody. For my prize, I'm giving out this uh, print postcard, which I don't do these a lot, so this is rarity, and it's a matte finish, so I'm super excited about that. It's so cute! And it's a little gorgy! And it says, life is an adventure. And then the back is a postcard, so if you want to send it to somebody, if not, you can keep it for yourself. Yee! Ah! <laughs> you can say uh, your names or your artist names, or? I'm Morgan, I, I did all of this. And this is wow. my, my besties. I'm Mars. <laughs> I'm a tattoo apprentice in Seattle. I'm Ooh. Yeah. on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Now you can get your tattoos from her. <laughs> very nice, very nice. I'm inked. I have a small little one. <laughs> Just a small tiny one. Yeah. This is so this is the stairway entrance into the exhibit hall, which is on this side. And they have information here about um, rules and stuff and code of conduct. And on the other side of this is actually the map. So there's a map on this side, and you see 
they have it formed out like a game so it goes all the way down to the first floor super cute then you walk in and then there's exhibitors on this side and then artists all on this side it is currently 10 41 doors have opened we're having a slow start again but i think it's just the flow of this room because walking around the artist alley it's very open and airy um and it's right off of the escalator and i think it's very hard to understand that there's more boots on this side of where i'm at so we'll see but we did make one sale so far to another vendor which is too bad because it hasn't been a very great show um but they bought a gift for somebody so um we'll check back in a little bit later and see how it goes GGC update. I've gotten to the point where I just started scribbling on my sign card. It fell down when I was setting up and it's not like you can see anything because I do have a backdrop. So I took it down. But I started drawing on it some doodles, some Frenchies I'm trying to do. I did a cat, did this thing, which I really, I'm really liking this. So I think I'm going to use this design for my next bag design because I am running out of bags. So I think that's the move some funny little peeker ideas that I kind of want to get made. Hi guys, update. It's 4.57. We're an hour out from the end of the con. They came around and gave us some loadout instructions, so we'll go over it briefly. Here's some information about loading out. Basically, what I said earlier, you can use the loading dock or you can do hand carry freight. So those are your options. Anyways, it's been very, very, very slow. I don't think we're gonna hit the same sales as yesterday. I would love if we did, but I don't think we are based on how it's looking right now. It's looking very dead. Um, and yeah, overall for the weekend, I'm about 30% down from last year's show, which was one day. So something to consider. I did hear from uh, some people that the attendees attendee numbers is up 30 percent but of course the amount of vendors they increased by is a lot i believe last year was like 90 vendors and this year is about 280 um so yeah um, pretty much more than double uh the amount of vendors and yeah so i've been trading stickers with people and now my new trend which i should have started a long 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 time ago is taking one of the sticker books that i sell this is the display sticker book and then i add the stickers that i traded with people into the book so okay. like these stickers i got from people so cute and look a little mini one and then i also added another sticker on a rogue page <laughs> where did i add it oh there it is that one <laughs> But because it's a reusable sticker book, I can just move it. See, look at that. It is still sticky. So that it's with all the other people. Yay! We made it! Yay! <laughs> it is 6 o'clock, which means it's the end of Geek Girl Con. We're cleaning up now. Everybody's cleaning up. We're gonna head on out. I'll show you guys how to leave. And then go home and i'll see you in the next one so after crunching all the numbers will i return to geek girl con next year most likely yes as far as expenses go my biggest expense was the booth fee which was 400 dollars after that was parking for all three days which came out to about 50 dollars and then gas which was about another 50 or so dollars so at the end of the day, because the numbers were very similar to last year, granted last year was a one day event and this year was a two day event, I think it's still just kind of worth my time to be, especially if I don't have any other events happening this weekend. Now, I didn't quite hit the number expectation I had wanted to because this event had increased by a day. But I do really enjoy the attendees that come here. I do see a lot of returning customers who either saw me at last year's Geek Girl Con or who saw me at other events in the Washington area. And also just meeting a lot of other vendors. There was a lot of first time tablers at this event, which was always great to just meet people. So I will definitely do it again. I do hope next year they adjust the attendee to vendor ratio because I do think this year there are way too many vendors 
for the amount of attendees, which could have been very overwhelming if you were a first time attendee at this event and you kind of go upstairs to the exhibit hall and you're presented with just tables upon tables and then booths on booths of things that you want to buy. So I do hope they adjust that for next year. But if you are out of town and you have to pay for gas multiple times because gas is very expensive here in the Pacific Northwest or if you have to pay for a hotel, I would not recommend this event. So that's just my thoughts, but I do hope to return next year because I do enjoy the vibes overall and I love seeing a lot of my artist friends who do go to this event as well. We're officially all packed up, heading home now! <laughs> so there is an option if you're leaving to drive up to the main loading dock, which will bring you to this area, which is right outside the main expo hall but we are taking the freight elevator instead which is this way and this is the same way that you will load in especially if you have a car that is under six foot five so where that car is driving in from is actually the main loading dock so you can see that's where the main loading dock is we are walking to the hand carried freight elevator though so this way everybody with their hand carry freight mom has the suitcases i spy a single spoot bag everything loaded up Alright vlog, thanks for hanging out with me at Geek Girl Con this weekend. We're all packed up, everything is nice and tight. Thanks for watching, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't checked out my monthly sticker club over on Patreon, be sure to check it out. Link's down in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!